now where we're going to be offering you a weekly series of yoga, suspension yoga asanas, eventually leading to some sequencing. Today's our first actual video taping, so we're going to start with the very basics. And to begin with, I'd like to introduce you to the Om Jim system itself. The Om Jim consists of three pieces of fabric. First of all, the larger piece is referred to as the sling. It is made out of 100% recycled nylon material, parachute material, so it's very, very durable. And on one side, we have a foam insert for your comfort level. On either end, the uh, sling gets attached to these adjustment straps with S hooks. So I'm going to place an S hook here and hang the engine. And now I just wanted to show you the straps. They consist of three levels of handles, and these also get attached with S hooks to the adjustment strap. And that's all there is to it. So now we're going to move into our first inversion. The easiest way to come into inversion to begin with if you're new is on the floor. So we're going to actually lower our swing and bring it down to its lowest level. And we're going to adjust the handles as well and bring them so that they're just about angle height and not dragging on the floor. We want to make sure that both sides are of equal height, as you can see, one side right now is higher than the other, so now we have them even. And we're going to proceed with getting into the object. One of the easiest ways to get in if you have knee problems and it's difficult for you to bend is to walk back until you're behind the secure and snug in the sling and leaning back into the fabric, slowly but carefully, you walk yourself into a seated position. There you go. So now, one of the first and most important parts of coming into inversion is the placement of the foam. You want to position the foam at your back in the area of the sacrum. The sacrum is the bony part of your pelvis that's beneath the lumbar spine and above the coccyx. So it's about where your dimples are, so you want to anchor the foam there, hold it in position, and use your body weight to secure it as you lean back. Once you feel that the foam is secure, slide your hands up the sling and gently release your shoulders onto the floor. It feels really lovely to be in this position. And you can stay here for five or ten minutes and you'll experience a lot of the same benefits that you would experience from a very full-on suspended inversion. You can always lift your shoulders slightly and walk back behind the point of suspension your hips will raise and you'll experience a little bit of traction on your lower back, which feels very nice. So take a few breaths here. Bring yourself back underneath the point of suspension. And we're going to take one leg at a time just to practice. Place the ball of your left foot on the floor and pushing down into your left foot, sweep your right leg around and bend that leg. So you have a really deep bend here. And that's half a diamond. And just to adjust to this, you can relax your left leg and introduce a little bit of swing in here. And then you're going to release that leg and you're going to practice with the other leg. Pushing down into your right foot, lift your left leg around and wrap it. right leg, a little bit of swing here. And now, keeping your left leg up, take your right leg and bring it up to join your left leg, coming into what we call diamond pose. You can see that the shape of my legs is creating a diamond shape. The soles of the feet are together. gently into your brain. And you can also facilitate that movement by introducing a little bit of the walking, twisting from side to side. This helps to tone the muscles and ligaments that are being stretched and stimulates 
circulation in the spine, as well as assisting with digestion and the lymphatic drainage. Mm. And you can make it faster too if you like, and just be loose and relaxed and just swing the hips freely side to side. And have a little fun with it. And then when you're ready to come out, there are two ways to come out. I'm going to show you both ways. The first way is to come out the same way you came in, which is just release your legs, gently return them to the floor, slide your hands up the sling, and bring yourself back up to a seated position. Now the second way, and I'm going to come into this now with both legs at once. I'm going to open both legs, draw them towards my head, and wrap them. The second way to come up is to reach up, unwrap your legs, and pull yourself up as you gently close your legs and bring them together in one smooth movement. 